Afternoon, everyone. Afternoon. Welcome to our third session in our newbies course on break and retest. So I see I have a lot of my advanced members here. And for those who have been through the course already, you all know that this is the first time I'm actually teaching this in the course, right? So because every time I improve, right, I try to update my courses, right? So, so let's get it started, right? Break and retest. Sheldon, good afternoon as well. Good afternoon. Uh, let me see as we have here. Um, Latisha's in the building afternoon. Latisha, afternoon. Darcel, Marlon, afternoon. Um, Big up on Andre. Yes, we got Sharina, afternoon. Chantel, afternoon. All right, welcome, y'all, welcome. All right, if you could be in anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, I appreciate it, all right? So let's get started. All right. Uh, Richard, can, can let me test Richard. Richard, are you here clear, Richard? I'm hearing you, but I'm going to be in and out because I'm doing something. Okay, okay, because I know you're always having that little internet issue, so I just want to know if we're good today. So when yeah, I'm I'm, yeah, I'm here. All right, good, good, good. All right, you know, you know it's, it's an interactive class, so I'm going to... Yeah, but I, I'm doing something in the kitchen, so... Yeah, after, I'm just asking to bear with me, cousin. All right, that's 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 fine. So I'm calling you if you let me know if, if I don't get an answer, or I would, I would assume that you can't answer, right? Right. All right. Um, I see um Stuart in in here. Afternoon, Stuart. Afternoon. Um, who else we just got here? Afternoon, Jermaine. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. All right, so break and retest, right? So support and resistance are areas where buyers and sellers are willing to negotiate prices, right? Support and resistance. So have you, you have learned so far in our course thus far about key resistance and key support, right? So let me pick up these, right? So I'm looking at NZD USD right here, right? So let's pick up the key resistance and key support. So right here, I'm gonna put my key levels in white, right? All right, bam right here, bam right here, right? So this is the key resistance and key support that we have learned so far, right? And so we are the accumulation stage right here. All right, then after that, then bam, we are the advanced stage, right? We are the advanced stage after that. All right, bam, all right. All right, price consolidated here. It did respect this market structure, right? It did respect this market structure. Here of volley anymore, what it did, it decided to go to a higher level, right? So this now, which was key resistant, will now become key support, right? So in order to find a new key resistance, what we do, right? We'll look left, right? So let's look left. So when I draw my chart, draw my chart, right? To look left, right? So when I look left, right? I'm seeing another key level somewhere about here, right? Where price is respecting, right? There. So you come back right, right? So we know that this is the next key level by looking left to see where price respected before, right? So these are key levels, right? So therefore, have a little pullback. Would would want it to continue to shift retail as ILO, consolidated here at the distribution stage, then bam. It could stay in this structure or probably break and go back into the previous structure, right? So that's what I mean by looking left. So this is how the key, the key resistance are the key, the high point and the low point. But at some point, we must come to the price that we're willing to sell or we're willing to buy. So I'll start back with the example of the motor vehicle, right? So I told you that 
um, the seller not willing to go beneath 8,000, right? The buyer not willing to go above 15,000, right? So those are the key levels. So therefore the price for the motor vehicle has to be negotiated somewhere in between. These levels are what you call your minor resistance and support. So let's go to my whiteboard, all right? So let's go to my whiteboard right here. Hold on one second, guys. Uh, let me see if this is person. Okay. She says she. All right. And put this person in. All right, so watch me now. Key resistance, right? Key support, right? Price. So this is a key resistance and key support. All right, so let's know that, right? Key support. Right? There's a key resistance. So in between the key resistance and the key support is where we now have our minor resistance and minor support. So let's draw them. Bam. 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 All right. So I'm saying to you, this is how the market moves, right? Consolidates here at the key level right here. Breaks above the consolidated level. Break that resistance right there. Respects this one retrace right and it not respect this previous resistance and support this is one cycle this is the previous low shift retest created a higher low right and when it ready to move off again being that it respected this key resistance before it's not going to break it right respect this new one retrace and now respect here as support and the cycle continues over and over to come back here and the bounce here at the at the, the resistance at the key resistant for the distribution level and now it breaks here retrace here respect this as resistant break the support bam bam and the cycle continues like that so let's think about life right so it's like you're in the market or like to use the example of a car, you're negotiating with, 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 with the seller, all right? So first, start off at 8,000, you said, all right, no, let's go 9,000. And they said, oh, all right, let's go do 10,000. So the fact that you have broke the resistance of 8,000, right? The negotiation is no longer at 8,000. The new support now will be 9,000 because that's where the negotiation that's where the conversation is the negotiation is right right you break i said now nah, you break that you break you break the nine thousand you up to ten thousand so you're no longer talking about nine thousand so this is where the conversation is right now right but at some point you know you're not going above fifteen thousand right the the buyer right the seller i should say not going beneath that eight thousand right buyer not going above fifteen all right seller not going below 8,000 because below 8,000, it doesn't make a profit, right? So let me run through. Richard, are you getting this point when I'm speaking about how the minor resistance and support works? Can I get Richard? Um, LJ, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, I'm getting this point how the minor resi resistance and support works. Yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good, right? So it's just a re it's, it's just the in between range, right? It's the in between range of where buyers, right? Buyers and sellers. Give me a second, I'll try.
Yes, so it's the in-between range of where buyers and sellers is, is negotiating between the key prices, right? So as I say, you just have to think about it like life, right? So like you're, you're bargaining something. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. All right, good. Um, Rennie, um, afternoon, can you hear me? Uh, Rene is there. Rene, can you hear me? Oh, I'm not hearing her. She, she's still on the line. Uh, let me run the show. Let me run the show. Stuart, Stuart, are you with me today? Can you hear me? I'm not getting no one. Right, so let me let me go again. Um, Renee, can you hear me? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. I wasn't hearing before. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was hearing, but it was very low, so I just tried to connect it to the Bluetooth. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry about the mix of um because the last class you had Renee and I totally didn't remember that. All right. So All right. Because, because our security purpose, you got to be extra. I, I know. And I didn't realize that my daughter changes back because we use the, the laptop together. So when she's going on her Zoom meeting, she changed the name. So I keep on forgetting that she changed the name. Sorry about right. that. Uh, I'll make a, mel a mental note. No? All right. So next time. Yeah, um, are you getting the, this point about keep the minor resistance and minor support that? Those are like eras where buyers and sellers bargain in between the key levels. Yeah. Um, you get it? Can you hear me? Ernie? Yes, sir. You get it? I'm hearing you. I'm saying you get it. Yes, so it's the, 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 the highest and the lowest levels that the traders mm -hmm. trade. No. As a, I don't, something like that. I don't know. I or just want to think about. I want to think about real life. Um, let's bring it to real life, right? Um, you go say um down to real right? life. Or say like it's grand market, right? You go down to right. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that the buyer is not willing to go below mm -hmm. eight thousand, right? You only have fifteen thousand dollars in your pocket. You know you're not gonna go above that, right? So those mm -hmm. are the key levels, right? You want mm -hmm. to buy your sneakers for your daughter, Paris, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to start out the negotiation by trying to um, lowball the price all the way down to, say, 9000 So that, That's where it's lowballing, right? And, and, and the seller said, here, no, mm -hmm. okay, do that. And so it broke that resistance, right? So when it broke that resistance, it's hit 10 and comes back at 9 So, So the 8 is no longer the support. So 9 is now the support. And yeah. You're still back and forth negotiate, negotiate and just say, no man, let's do 10. And I said, boy, and you know what I mean? So it broke that resistance at 10 or 10 is a support. And, and buyer said, no, I still can't do 10. That, that's a shit. That's still a mush. You know what I mean? And at some point it broke 10 or each 11, right? <laughs> so 10 is not a support. It broke the key resistance at, at 10, gone all the way to 11. And for some reason, and you have come to the conclusion and say, all right, let's make an agreement on 11. And that is where entry will take place. All right? Because that's where the current agreement is. Yeah. Does that make sense? But you know what? It, what once you reach like the key resistance of like 15,000, you know that might as well you just go back home because you can't, you can't afford board more than this so the price is going to come all the way back down here the conversation is just going to be dead you see i put it to real life oh yeah oh it's just clicking oh, there right okay, yeah. yeah so the key levels yes. are, are are the levels is the is the bracket right but in between the bracket is where you have your minor resistance and minor support right. yeah. is the areas right so let me show you the definition Support is, is, is the areas where buyers and sellers are willing to negotiate price, right? All right. In order, mm -hmm. so in order, guys, in order to go to a higher level, 
price must break through a resistance, retest creating a higher low and respecting the previous res resistance as support. At this stage, the basic of trading for an option would have been confirmed. So let's go back to what it looks like, Bernie. I'm saying to you this. In order to go, so you are at this level right here. So in order to go to a higher level, it must break through this resistance, so retest this resistance. This resistance now will become support. So right here, you'd have a higher low. Mm -hmm. so I'm saying, so first I told you that um, in order for the basic of trading to be to be met, you need to see a shift retest and a higher low, right? But I'm taking um step much more further each step, right? So I'm saying to you now, the, right here, not only you want to see shift, it needs to break through a resistance and come back and retest it as support for an option. You get that? Mm -hmm. are, are, am I losing you? Renee? No. All right, good. Uh, so let me, let me, yeah. let me see. all right, LJ, can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right, you understand what I said that in order for the option to be confirmed, it to break through a resistance and come back and retest the resistance and support. The first line, above key support that would be a resistance that you're referring to you have been break yes. through that resistance and come back mm -hmm. and bounce upward again and just above that resistance yes so this now now will be, become support support mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right yes. and this line now will become the new resistance right okay yes. you understand that point so in order for in order say yes you want a shift retest and higher low right mm -hmm. But I'm taking um, stock much more further today. I'm saying not only you want a shift retest and a higher low, whenever a shift, it needs a shift and break through a resistance and retest that resistance, which that resistance now will become support. Right. Got you. All right. And all of this is happening within the, key the broader perspective of your and key that, resistance at the top and key support. Exactly. So these are minor resistance and minor right. So on the flip side now, mm -hmm. LJ, right? Price need to break through a support and retest it back as resistance. Mm -hmm. Right. So shift retest lower high. Well, whenever you get whenever you're doing this shift, it needs to break through a support, retest it as resistance. You see it on the flip side? Yes. Yes. Right, mm -hmm. and then you sell. Right, so okay. we're speaking about support and resistance right now. All right, so um, Stuart, are you with me? All right, uh, Richard, can you hear me? I'm here, I'm driving though. So. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, let me know. You you could just you could just um chop in and and let me know when when you're fully with me. All right. All right. So let's run through again. Let me see what's there. Richard, are you with me? Okay, cool. I'm I'm heading in. So as soon as I get in. All right. No problem. Richard, can you hear me? Yeah, Andrea, hearing about. As I said, I lost connection. And um, I'm finishing up something in the kitchen, so that's why I was trying to concentrate on it. All right. So just let me know when you finish, so that way I can know I could call on you. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. So I'm gonna focus on LJ, LJ, and 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 Bernie for a bit until everyone else is like fully ready. Got to push on. All right. All right, so for the advanced people, right, if you have any questions, you can always ask, all right? But I'm gonna focus on the numbers for now, all right? All right, so that's so that's the point that I just explained right there. In order to, to go to a lower level, price must break through a support, retest it, creating a lower high, and respecting the previous support as resistance. 
at this stage, the basic of trading for a downtrend would have been confirmed, right? So watch me now. A trend is yeah. consists of cycles. Each cycle has two components, impulse and retracement, right? Everyone should know this by now, right? So a trend, right? Let me go get it. <clears throat> One second, guys. All right. So watch me now. Y'all can see my screen, right? Yes. Yes. All right. So, so a trend is consists of cycles. So let's start with LJ. So you asked this question in the previous classes, right? So this is shift retest that is one cycle, right? So this shift retest is also known as a flag, right? This right here is the pull. Retrace, this is the flag, right? So this pull is what I was saying to you that it needs to break through the resistance and come respect back the resistance as support with the flag. You get that point, Eldrin? Eldrin, can you hear me? Am I going now? I'm hearing you now. Good, thanks. Oh. I've been hearing you. Sorry, I, 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 am I, am I, I going in now? To... Sorry, am I was just trying you know? to unmute, but I'm hearing you. Okay, all right, good. All right, so I'm saying to you this. That flag that I'm looking at, LJ, is the same thing as this. Shift retest, hi, hello, right? Hello. Yeah, right. can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I'm hearing you running. Just a minute. Hello. Yes, I'm hearing you running. Can you hear me? Hello. Oh. Everyone is hearing me clearly. Let me just do a quick internet check. Everyone is hearing me clearly. Well, I am. I, yes. I have been. So no no break on my side at all. No interference. Oh, so, so it's not my side, all right? All right. So because let me see if I could get the class to run smoothly. I don't know why it's not running smoothly. I don't know if it's on my side, all right? So watch me now. So LJ, can you hear me? I'm speaking to you directly now. Sure. This shift and reach. not seeing anything on your screen. Not seeing anything on, You're not seeing my screen, LJ? No. Yeah, I'm seeing everything and hearing everything. Okay. I don't oh, let me just let me just um confirm. What you have now is the uptrend on the left and the downtrend on the right. Exactly. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm saying now, this ship right here, right, and retest right here, right. I'm not seeing anything, so I don't know what is oh. wrong. I'm not seeing anything at uh, all. I'm only um, hearing Andre, what you can probably do, the, a lower time to kind of disconnect and reconnect and see if it uh, refresh. Yeah, try, 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 try to disconnect and reconnect. Um, ready? I'm just seeing it now, so I don't know what you did. I, I did, did nothing. I just see I it pop up now. Probably have an internet lag. I did not do it. Yeah, it could be a delay on. It could be a delay on her saying. Yeah. All right. All right. So this shift right here in the retest, right? You see that LJ, right? Yes. All right. So I'm saying to you, what I'm doing right here, right, is to give you more details of what it is. It is also known as a flag. All right. You get that? So this flag right yes. here, it consists of two components of coal. Right, so this is the pole right here, and this is the flag, right? Mm -hmm. Pole flag, right? So I'm saying this pole in an option, it must break through a resistance and retest that resistance, which that resistance now becomes support. Support. Right here, this is this. So this is a bullish flag. Mm -hmm. This is what you call a bearish flag. It, look, look all their angles. So this one is ang bullish flag is angled down, bearish flag mm -hmm. is angled up. So okay. for the bearish flag, it must break through support. And now the flag retests that support, mm -hmm. which now become resistant. 
you get in that point? Yes. All right. So this 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 is also known. This is also known as impulse and retracement. The retracement is the flag. The impulse is the pole. Okay. Impulse retracement. Mm -hmm. Get those points? Yes. And do you understand the point that that I'm showing right here? Must break through a resistance and support. Right. And respect it as support correction, right? You yes. get in that point? Mm -hmm. Right here, break through support, respect it as resistance. You get in that point? Yes. So let's go back on, on the this illustration that you have. You know, they, they go back to the other one. Um, this one? Yeah. So in a sense, then that first flagpole, mm -hmm. right? And then the, thereafter, it's your retracement. Mm -hmm. So this is the pole right here. This pole. Is the, mm -hmm. the flag. The flag, which pole. is your retracement. And the retracement of the flag, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Pole, mm -hmm. flag, right? So I'm saying the pole is what needs to break through. Correct. The resistance and the flag mm -hmm. retrace and respect mm -hmm. it as support, right? Right. Get that? Got that. Uh, let's double back. Rene, can you hear me? Are you seeing the screen, Rene? I, I'm not seeing it. I'm wow. seeing nothing. You're I'm not. seeing, but I'm not hearing. Um, do you want to try to disconnect and try connect connecting back? I guess. No, I guess. I guess when you send the the, the video in. No, what I need. I need you watch it. No, I need you to try. Because I'm not. I'm not. Now I'm saying try to try to disconnect and reconnect. Can you hear me? Uh, let me see there. She definitely not here. All right, so let's push on, right? All right, so LJ, you get that point. So let me continue, right? I don't sure. want to overlap the class. Um, I always try my best to keep these short um class. Very short. Um, all right. Yeah. All right. So watch me now. The bearish, the bullish flags are located in the advanced space, right? Naturally, correct, correct, LJ. They say that again. The bullish flags are like located located in the advanced space. Oh yes, yes, I got that. Yes. It's the option. Are the bearish option. correct? The bearish flags are located in the decline decline phase. Yes. That's simple, right? Mm -hmm. All right, straightforward, right? Uh, running, testing. Can you hear, hear me and see the screen? All right. Uh, let's push through. All right, it's a very important. I think I think she disconnected and probably. Yeah, but I just I, I just had her back. So. Okay. All right. So the bullish. All right. So in terms of default, you could all right. In terms of the colors of the candles, right? In terms of default. I'm, I'm telling you what the default colors are about. You could always change your chart and put it to whatever color you want, whatever color candle, whatever color background, mm -hmm. whatever you choose, right? But in terms of default, right? Right. Right. The bullish flags are red, are red candles, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. While the bearish flags are green candles. Green candles. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's take it to the chart, right? Let me show what I'm talking about. Right. So I'm seeing right here. This is a flag, right? Breakthrough and retest, right? Breakthrough, mm -hmm. retest, shift, retest, high yellow, right? So I'm seeing. Let's look at this. Let's zoom in and look at this, right? Bullish, green, bearish, red. Right. All right. Oh, right. right. no, so 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 quickly, you're, you're you're mixed up, LJ. The bullish are red candles. All right, bullish flag uh, right here. The flag uh, is the red candles. Ah, uh, yes. So I'm saying, but well, the bears, a bears flag, right? If I come over here, bears flag right here, right? They're green candles, right? Green candles. Shift, retest, right? Shift, retest. <laughs> like <hard. laughs> All right, shift retest, lower height. See that, Elder? 
Yes. All right. So let, let me, so it's nothing that you need to think of um like tightly, but it's just something that I put in for a person that are just new. You know what I mean? You just want to see a lower height, right? Just yeah, for, after a while these terminologies and thing will come natural, but yeah, you just need to see it over and over again. All right. So we're gonna to go to the chart, right? So let's focus on the bullish flag, right? At the end of the flag, right? You need to see in some long widths at the bottom, right? You want to see in some long widths at the bottom retesting that previous resistance and support. What does these weeks mean, right? If you look at the candlestick series, right? If you're if you're looking at, let me clear my whiteboard so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, you get this part right here. So I'm gonna clear my whiteboard, right? All right, so this is a candle right here, all right? Whenever you see the wicks like this long right here, small body, um, LJ, it mean that, right? Sellers and push price come all the way down here, right? That I said open here, sellers push it all the way down here, but buyers let it close right here. So buyers push it up back, right? So whenever you see these long wicks like this, that means there's a lot of buying pressure coming into the market. Does that make sense? Uh, not quite. I, I get what you're saying, but I, it just wow. hasn't sit with me yet. All right. Are you watching the Candlestick series bit, um, series so far? I started, haven't completed it. Yet. Haven't completed it. All right. All right. That's why this is missing in some time. Yeah, yeah. But it's good. Just continue going still, because uh, once right. I get the concept and I watch the video, everything will come Coming to play. Like a shooting star, right? I'm not going to go into the name of the candles because the fact that you have to wash it, I don't want to confuse it. So I'm just going to speak of the principle, right? Right. So it's for sell, right? Price opens here. So this is where price open. Sellers push price all the way down here, right? This is the body of the candle, right? This is the whip, right? All right. And then buyers, after sellers push it here to this, this low, buyers came in. And let price close here because this is the close of the candle. So there's a lot of buying pressure coming to close the candle. So you're looking at how the candles are closed. So the fact that this long week is here, that means there's a lot of buying pressure coming into the market now. So whenever price shift, right, break through the resistance, retest that resistance, which now becomes support. This is what I'm looking for. Long weeks resting on top of the support. To okay. show me that buying pressure is coming in. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, on, the, on the counter, I mean, no, not to don't, throw don't, you off don't, in any way. And... Don't, don't go there as yet, LJ. Don't okay, all right, there. okay. Remember, this is new to you, so let's, let us take our time, right? Let's just take one step at a time, right? Let me just do this one and show you what's up, right? So what I'm going to do for you now, LJ, is this, right? Renee, can you hear me? Are you seeing my screen, Renee? Let me see if I could get back running. All right, not getting everybody's missing this very important topic. I guess a lot of people are gonna watch but the recording. All right, watch me now. So I have the key resistance and key supports, right? Right, Elder. So what okay. I'm gonna do is this, right? What I'm gonna do is this. Are you seeing my screen, right? Yes, I am. What I'm gonna do is this. In order to pick up my resistance, key resist, my minor resistance, my minor support, say that I didn't have this as yet, right? I would have to look here. Does that make sense? The same yes. way I look left to pick up this key one, it's the same way I have to look left to pick up the minor ones, right? Mm -hmm. So let's pick up the, the, the minor resistance and minor support, right? Okay, so there, I'm gonna draw them in pink, right? So okay. in my academy, you could do whatever you want once you get skill, right? But for me, whenever I'm sitting on the chart, the minor resistance, the minor support are in pink. The key ones are in white. I, I do this so that way my charts are set on uniform and people does, don't have to wonder what they're looking at, right? But for you personally, when you're marking up your chart, you could just do whatever you want, right? All right so bam, I'm going to draw next one right here. You see why I'm drawing, drawing these these lines right here, LJ, talk to me. I, 
I can get the second one. The first one, uh, the first one that you draw, explain that one, why this that one became here, a, yeah. Because price is rejecting here. See what price is rejecting here, okay. right? Let's look left. Let's look draw our, our thing left and see if it's played out or far left, right? Notice even when I bring, bring my chart left, price was respecting these ears around here as well. Right. You get what I'm saying? The, the, the behavioral pattern of the market always tend to repeat itself. Does that make sense? Yes. So you know that I could have, I, by looking left, I see where price is pecking the, respect to this line as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before even looking left. Before, exactly, that's what I'm thinking. Because you drew the line on the all far right, right let's, and let's, you, let's, you went yes, left. Let, this is far left now. Let's look at the magic trick again, right? This is far mm -hmm. left. Watch me now. I'm not looking right. This is another respective zone right here. Mm -hmm. See? Bam. Yeah. So price respecting this here right here. Bam. Mm -hmm. See? Yes. All right? Let's draw another one. That way I don't have to come back left again. All right? I'll say probably about here. So price respecting here, respecting here. Came down here, respecting here. By respecting about this level right here. You see that? Yes. All right? So mm -hmm. that's all I'm going to draw for now, right? Look how price comes right here. Bouncing on it, bouncing on it. You see that? Yes. Now let's look back right now, Eldre. Let's look back right. Huh? Wow. Look all price respecting mm -hmm. these levels. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. You see how right. it rests on it neatly? Bam. Respecting. You see the whip? Respecting. Mm -hmm. Right? Bam. All right? Look again. Look right here. Bam. You saw price respecting these levels. Mm -hmm. Consolidated here. Then it broke through. So, so it was forcing to go through here, bam, right? All right, you see, look at it. Look at it as, as I'm going back, right? Bam, right? Minor is it, right? You see that? Yes. Right? So I'm saying to you that price always tend to have the same behavioral pattern. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like knowing your kid, you know what I mean? You know what to expect from them once you get to know them, right? Yes. They do the same thing over and over. And it's like you tell them not to touch, not 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 to play with the fire on the stove. And you know, it's like you know if you turn your back, they're gonna be like, oh, same behavioral pattern. Yes. Right? It, in a sense, it's somewhat become predictable after a hmm. while. All right. In 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 law, we say that um, the, the officer would say that, oh, that's the same MO. Correct, in terms of legal, legal. Correct. Yeah. We say it is the same mo. That's all I'm saying. Price always have the same mo, right? See that? Respecting. So let's start mm -hmm. back with here now, Elgin, right? Renee, can you hear me? Just text Renee again. Yeah, I'm still not here, Renee. All right. So in order to see these things now, LJ, look what I'm doing because I know you said you had some issues with trading. Look what I'm doing. See, so I'm coming here. Doing my cursor like this, you need to have a mouse, right? What yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. with a, with one of the uh, scroll. Yes, it works. But when I could just use a scroll to draw, use a scroll in and out, in this and mm -hmm. that, it helps, right? Right. So trying doing your trackpad is going to be very difficult to navigate the chart with just a trackpad, mm -hmm. right? So ensure that you have a mouse. So look what I'm doing. I'm doing this right here to widen open my chart, to widen up the candles. You see that? Yes. Do this. This right here, widen open the candles to contract them. So in order to see price movement, you gotta mm -hmm. widen open the candles. Mm -hmm. right? So watch what I'm saying now, Alger. This was the resistance, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Does it look much more better to me? Watch. Yes, me now. much better. Now they're looking like candlesticks. All right. Watch me now. Shift, retest, create a higher low. So watch me now. Right. This was the previous low, right? Right, mm -hmm. and this is the pole, right? This is the pole, right? Yes, right. This is the flag, mm -hmm. right? This right here was a minor resistance, so yeah. this is a minor, minor, minor resistance. It's mm -hmm. a minor resistance, right? Let me put this to the left. Minor resistance, right? Mm -hmm. See where your price was respected so price these weeks with pushing it right minor mm -hmm. resistance. 
So now price broke through the minor resistance mm -hmm. and now retreat and respect it as support. Mm -hmm. And how do I know that it's time for, I think Rene asked this question, I don't know if you, how do you know when the flag has ended and it's time for you to continue up? Mm -hmm. You look at the flag coming out, you see, you see how these candles, the body of the candles are big. Right. Notice it when it's time to retrace, right? The body of the candle starts to get small. Smaller. Right? Mm. These, every time now you're looking at the end of the flag, you're looking for something that's called a doji. Right? Let me go to my notes, right? Doji, right? So yes. then, so you want to see the, the wicks are the wicks right you want to see the wicks mm -hmm. then finally you want to see a doji which indicate that price is about to change direction price is about to turn around right mm -hmm. all right so this is what you call a doji a wick at the top we at the bottom with a small body in the middle it means indecisiveness it means price is about to turn on it's a turning point mm -hmm. it's the turning point Right, so that's why it's very important to watch that candlestick series. Running, are you hearing me? Just running again. Um, I don't know if Richard is back. Um, store it, all right? Yeah, this is very interesting. Yes, this is a very important class, and I, I, I don't have everyone's attention, but I guess right. everyone could go over the recording, right? So, watch me now. This is a doji. So, this is how you want the flag to him, right? Notice what I said to you before now, LJ. Look at these long wicks at the bottom. So, mm -hmm. so sellers started here, right? Mm -hmm. Sellers open price here, right? Came all the way, and then buyers came in and pushed price up, push a lot of, right? Right? Yes. Buyers are coming to push price up for it to close here, right? Right? So it closed here at the bottom of the body, mm -hmm. close here at the bottom. So look how, look how this body is smaller than this one, it's showing like a lot of buying pressure is coming in. Right, and that is why price started to go up now. Oh. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. But that's why price continued up. So this means that that means the flag is ending and start to change continent continent direction. So this is like a correction, just a rest stop. Doji mean is time to continue direction and change of direction, right? Okay. Let me let me let me put in a little piece here just to see if I it. I'm getting mm. it the right way. So looking at the long candlesticks there, it's like, for example, buyers are having a, sellers are having a field day. Then buyers came and put pressure on it and push it back up. Exactly. So these, you saw these bodies are being that mean. There's yes. a lot of selling pressure. A mm -hmm. lot of selling pressure. Buyers are not in control at this point. Right. Is at this point, the buyers are coming in, right? Mm. To start to be back in control. So that's what I'm saying. You're looking for a week. This is what? This era right here. Is what you call weak rejection. Mm -hmm. Weak rejection Excellent. because it's rejecting, right? It's, it's rejecting from the support. The support is rejecting it. So this now, which was previous, re previous resistance, minor resistance, mm -hmm. now becomes minor support. Yes. That's on top. Right. So so it was. First resistance, it broke through the resistance and now becomes minor support. So we're no longer negotiating price below here within the key levels. We're now negotiating price now between here. Right. Does that make sense? Correct. Same thing that I spoke about to the market. You're there. I was saying to Rene, you buy the shoes, start out of eight, then you go to nine. Then So if you're now at 10, negotiating at 10, you're not going to go all the way back down to eight, correct? Right. Perfect. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. So that 10 now will be the support when because we're no longer at this level. So that is why. So this is this rejection, this rejection is like the seller telling telling that here what? No, no, um, no, 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 I'm not, not I can't go below that. And uh, you know what I mean? This, this is a seller fighting back to us against you. Rejection, they're rejecting, rejecting your offer. Does that make sense? You see, I put it to real life. Yes, it always, does. Always got to think in terms of real life. All right? Shift retest. Right? 
And notice this is the previous low shifted and retest, what did you see, also see happen, right? High low. See what's up? This low is higher than this one. Does that make sense? Yes. But I'm showing you, you have to put all the components together. It's not just wanting to see a shift retest and a higher low. That was the basic stuff that I started off the course with. So each, as we go further down into the course, it's gonna get more, much more complicated, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm saying to you, not only that you wanna see a shift retest higher low, it has to be done in a specific way. This is what you call a break and retest, just the topic, topic of the class. It broke through resistant and retest the resistant now, which becomes support. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Break and then retest. And these weak rejections, what you call the retest, it's retesting here. And when it retested, it created a higher low. Price did not do this. It did not broke back through here and broke the previous low. Because if it had broken the previous low, then the definition for option would have been void. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Um, Dre, just to, again, for my understanding, if you go to the left a little bit, where the, the wick then is in the color green, can you just, just explain that to me? What took place there? Uh, we're here. I should say not the way, the way the way the doji the doji is in the color green and um yeah. no go go to your left a little further and I'll tell you when keep going yeah. keep going keep going one more yeah right there in that region all right here right so what happened was this right this year right here right though it broke to reason this year was a consolidated era right let me bring it back down the price was consolidated here this was a sideways movement all right, sideway movement right here. Price was consolidated. Let me draw the consolidated box. Price was consolidated here. So price was moving in a sideway fashion. All right, so do it broke out, do it broke out, right? It did not create a higher low. Right, it came back within okay. consolidation. You get what I'm saying? Yes. It did not create a higher low. That's why I start. So this is like, so if this is the key support, this is this is like the accumulation stage. This is the accumulation stage. Does that make sense? You see what's up? Yes. Uh, so yes you the accumulation stage you need to break up and create a higher low. Then you start to go into the advanced phase. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. You know? Makes sense. Now. So yes. that's why I did the pay this over here, no, um, no mind. Because what's happening right here, right? What's happening right here is a sideways thing, right? Sideways, price is moving sideways. It's not trending. The trend actually started here. Does that make sense? Yes. See what's up now? So that is why it's sense. important to the first thing that you got to do is to identify where the consolidations are. And deeper way into the course, you're going to see how important it is to identify consolidations because that is the, how would I say now? That's the main thing that I trade around. I always trade with a breakout from consolidation. And that is where, as you say, the patience comes in because you have to watch it to make sure it's a consolidation before you do anything. Not just what I know when the market consolidates or when it doesn't consolidate. Okay. Right. But the deeper when you get deeper in the course, I'm gonna explain all of that to you, right? Right. I'm gonna explain to you the difference between the different type of consolidation and all of that. So that's that's like way down about probably session six, right? So don't jump the gun. Let's take it one step at a time. But just know that that's that's the basis of our trade, right? Which is that. I always wait for price to break through consolidation. Then I go in. Right? Why do I do this? Um, let me just give you a quick, a quick view. All right. 
say that you're approaching a, a, a stoplight, right? Driving in car. I say I always take things to real life, right? You're approaching a stoplight, right? There's a cluster of cars right there, correct? Right. What happens when the light turns green? The well, it, it's one after the other car is moving, right? So the one at the front moves first. It's, it bursts out. The cluster right. bursts out. Mm -hmm. So this right here is like you are the stoplight. So I know that the only thing, the only thing next to, next to come is a breakout, a burst out. It's gonna burst out with a high momentum. That is why my system is designed with trading out of consolidation. Because whenever I trade outside of it, right? Whenever I trade outside of it, what happens is that I have a high momentum. Price is gonna burst out. But what if, what if I try to catch like a trade in a, in a moving trend, right? I don't know when the momentum is gonna ease up. I understand. Does that make yeah. sense? Yes, it does. I don't want to be in a trade if it's not moving. Does that make sense? All right. Yes, Chief. Yeah. So I want to keep. I want to catch it when when the momentum is high. When it made that burst, it's like I can give you another another example. Imagine that if you have a daughter, right? You shelter your daughter so much, like for the longest time. All right. She finally adults. She should turn twenty one and drink that. Day that she turned to him, she want to like break out, she want to burst out. Right? Been clustered a lot, been clustered too long. She want to break out. Then when she break out, made that break out, and then after she made that break out, she was like, oh, I see what daddy was talking about. It's not all that out here. And then the momentum started to slow down again. Start to consolidate again. To realize, okay, it's not all that out here. <laughs> you know what I mean? The momentum stops. So I'm saying, Elder? Yeah, boy, what an analogy. I have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, could, I could use several examples. Trust me, man. Several I know, examples. but I understand. I get it. <laughs> that one is like, you know what I mean? I like to use the one of the cars. Um, good thing. Any, any example is like, as I said, I always try to just put trading back to life. It's life. You know, I mean, I always tell my students, like, they be like, what strategy do you do and this and that? I say, I don't trade a strategy. You know, trading is life. If, if you can think life, you know, I mean, LJ, if you can think life, then this trading to me just like, you being like in that zone, like, like where I'm at in trading, like in that zone. You know, what I mean, like in the matrix, you know what I mean? There's some stuff that I can see right now. It's like, if I ask myself, like, wow, you know what I mean? It's, it's because I appreciate trading like, like how life works. And not try to think, overthink it. So the reason why I'm, I'm giving you both those analogies and, and any other one that you want to think of it, I want to show you it operates like life. That's why I speak to the, the, the vendors. That's why I speak. It operates like life. It's the same thing. Sometimes? It makes sense. It makes sense. Once you can, you know, kind of like, life. yeah. Don't don't think of it like too technical. You know what I mean? Right. That's, that, that's when it started to get stressed. It's life. Mm -hmm. You ain't got it. It's life. So I'm saying, so I say these Weak rejections right here. If I open it, let me go back and these weak rejections right here is a is a seller telling you that you are not going back below that. You know what I mean? Not going below, back below it. So you're negotiating, selling things, not going back, so it's rejecting it. Something. Let's take it over to the flip side. Uh, Renny, are you with me? Yet? Let me see why you're with me. Doesn't right. seem like Renee is back. All right. Oh, next thing I need to I need to explain, right? Before I move on. When I say support and resistance, right? First of all, support and resistance is not a line. So let me get rid of this, right? I use line because it's it's like easier, but support and resistance is not a line. So that's it's another point that I need to bring across, right? Support and resistance is a zone. 
it's a it is a zone a zone like that shape something like this is a zone does that make sense yeah yeah I've, I've actually i've always seen it as a zone not so much the, the just the one line but uh, yeah i guess well, you're illustrating. Line for dem demonstrating purpose right yes so we're going to come right here right i'm going to come right here right and i'm going to use a zone right so so it's a zone this right here where the sephora is a zone it's a zone right this here is the zone right so watch me now let me just adjust this line to illustrate my point. Okay. And we're going to go now in terms of support, right? Just adjusting this to illustrate my point. So I'm just, just have to bring across that point that said so, right? So now we are looking at the flip side, right? Flip side, right? So we're looking at the downtrend, right, LJ? So watch right. me This right here is support, minus support, right? Minus support, right? This right here is a pull, right? Sorry guys, if my class are too long, I know a lot of people came here to long class, but um, people pay their money. Um, I like to give it, give it my all, you know what I mean? I like to give it my all, guys. It says it's a zone, right? This is a pole, it's the mining support. So I'm saying to you that we want price to break through the mining support and retest it now as right resistance right it's a flip side right so watch when you realize it look the same what's on the flip side right does that make sense so it broke through it and look what happened when it retested you see the same doji but this time the doji is like green and not red does that right. make sense so i'm saying Notice, but this time now, let's go back to the notes, right? This time now, right? Right? So for end of the bearish flag, you need to see long wicks at the top. So for the bullish flag, we want to see long wicks at the bottom showing buying pressure. But for the bearish flag, we want to see long wicks at the top showing selling pressure. Does that make sense? So let me go back through here. All right. Let me go to my whiteboard, right? Go clear my whiteboard. So this is what it would look like, right? Bam, right? So buyers open here and they push price all the way up here, right? And then bam, right? Sellers came. This is the wick at the top of the body, and sellers came in and closed price here. So buyers open here, push it up here, then sellers came in and push price here. See that LJ? So what yeah. happened now is that. With this, it's showing that sellers are now in control. All right, so notice at the start of the flag, you notice you see in a lot of a strong, a strong bullish movement, right? Strong buying pressure. Look at the candle. Let me open it a little bit more. Strong buying pressure, right? And then what happened? Start to see these weak rejections. It broke through here, these weak rejections, right? You see it? Or oh, oh, the wicks are being rejected right here. Then you see the doji, right? So once you see the doji, then you know it's that, right? Long wicks, long wicks, right? Bam, right? This right here, again, is what you call the era of weak rejection. So for the for the for, for going up, it'll be on the top, and for the going down, it'll be on the bottom, right? So this now minor support, this now be minor resistance, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, because for the broke, it broke the support here, it broke the support here, and retreat and respect it as a minor resistance now. Right? So watch me now as well, right? Look now how the basic of trading has been confirmed. LJ. It's right here, right? Where it shifted from, right? 
previous time, right? So I'm saying this right here now created a lower high. So right here, the basic up trading has been confirmed for a downtrend. Yes, also seen here with rejection, we broke through the, 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 the minor support and respecting it as, as a minor resistance. So it's not just okay to just look at that. Uh, a previous and a previous low, but you all want to, you also want to see it grow through and respect it. Does that make sense? Yes. You see what's up? No, I'm gonna to have to go through this again, and uh, but yeah, it's get it's getting it's, it's getting it's getting much more complicated now, right? That's yeah. why we gotta start off from the basics, and then we gotta gradually go up, right? Right. And that's why I don't know how people, um, but oh out on social media talking about it, teaching this and like in you know, one day crash course and all of that nonsense. Like I could never do. And I, I just know they be capping, you know what I mean? Maybe for somebody who are like some persons who are past uh, what you probably call an intermediary stage. Maybe they are one day could help them, but somebody like me who's starting from ground zero, it wouldn't no. help. They are, they're saying they're doing that for people starting from ground zero. <laughs> I know they be capping though, but anyway. All right, so that's why we have price doing this, right? But, all right. So I'm saying, like, I can show you even I can show you even another example. This right here is a zone right here. Here's another zone, right? Here's another zone, right? Here's another zone right here. Price shifted right here. It broke through retest. Look at the wicks. You see the wicks? Look at the wicks. See the wicks? Yes. You see? It? And then bam, price continued. Same thing over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. All right. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. It does? All right. Good, good. Um, testing Renee, testing Stuart, testing Richard. Don't know if they're back with me as yet. Everybody, yeah. I'm, Everybody I'm, I'm, back today. I'm back. So we're just trying to, to understand everything. I just, I'll have to read over um, the notes when you post it and go back to the video. All right. No problem. No problem. All right. So. <clears throat> So watch me now, um, Eldridge. So let me just focus on Eldridge to wrap up the class and then I guess everybody else could just watch over the video. But guys that, that are not like tuning, this class is very vital, it's critical. You must get this class. So if it takes to watch over this recording uh, three or four times, you need to do it, right? And you can message me or message in the newbies, uh, myself or an executive, executive member of the dear to assist, right? So watch me then. So, Eldrin, so I said the, at the final stage, after seeing the week, the last thing you want to see is the doji for the terminal, right? Eldrin? Yes, right. So I'm saying now, uh, flags are not located in the consolidated phases, such as the accumulation and, and distribution. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense. Because the flag is the, it's a well, trend. the flag. Yes, is a trend. They, they, they are in the trending phase, right? right? They are creating higher highs and higher lows or lower highs and low lows. In a consolidation, there's no higher highs creating or lower lows, or higher low creating or lower highs creating. It's just going sideways. Therefore, right. flags are not located in the consolidated phase, right? In the advanced stage, right? The start of the fall is known as the previous low, and right? the end of the flag is known as the higher low. That is like Obvious, right? All right. Go through that one more time. It, and right. Just right. illustrate one again for me. Right. Just... Illustrate, right? All right, probably, all right, let me go through then just illustrate, right? In the advanced stage, start of the flag, right? Start of the pole is known as the previous low. The end of the flag is known as the higher low. In the decline phase, okay. the start of the pole is known as the previous high, while the end of the flag is known as the lower high. Uh, simple here that I just said, right? Yeah, Probably yeah. because I'm putting a lot of technicalities to it, right? See right here, this is the pole, the start of the pole is the previous low, right? The end of the flag, high low, right? Same thing right here. And start of the flag, right? Start of the flag is the previous high, right? Start of the pole is the previous high, and then the end of the flag is the lower high. That's, that's all I'm saying. 
Yes, yes. I'm uh, pretty straightforward. All right, so all right. All right, so let's go to the next point, all right? The market moving the waves, right? The waves, the same thing you call as a cycle. So the market moving the cycles, right? So this is the cycles that the market cycles spoke about this right already these are the cycles right right but notice this cycle oh it looks uniform it's not going all the way up there or down here and it doesn't look it's not looking uniform right right all right let me show what i'm moving in uniform I mean by uniform now channels right price move in channels right in all stages of the market, right? A horizontal channel for the consolidated stage, right? An ascending channel for the advanced stage and a descending channel for the decline stage, right? Mm -hmm. So before I go to get to the last point, right? Let me just show you what I'm talking about, right? So this now what I'm gonna do it's extremely critical because it's one of the backbone of my trading, right? Let me put the backbone of my trading. Look what I'm doing now, Richard, because this is going to be the Omer. Richard as well, everyone, look what I'm doing. This is going to be the Omer. So below the cross, you're going to come to the second one, right? You're going to come all the way down to where you see parallel channel, right? Select parallel channels. For a downtrend, right, you're going to put the line at the top, start at the top, draw it all the way down, right? Click the mouse once, then drag it down here, right? Bam. See that? You can extend it up, so it's nice up. Right. See what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So I would do how you actually. All right. So for the down training, you rest the line on the top, then you drag it. All right. So watch me now. So the fact that price trades within that channel, right? Right. Whenever I want to sell something, right? Let's go back to this. All right. I'm I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible, right? You see how this moves uniform, right? Uniform. See that? Yes. So let's focus on the downtrend, right? You want to sell, you want to sell at the lower high, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, right, this is not always perfect. So first of all, this is not always perfect. So the quick disclaimer, this is not always perfect, but it, the, the more you trade, you, you know how to use your intuition, right? So watch me now. Whenever price comes to the top of the channel, right? Top of the channel right here, top of the channel, I'm going to look for a doji, right? Because price moves, supposed to move, it's not going to move perfect, but I suppose move like this in the channel. Bam, bam. All right? Something? Yes. So it's not going to look, um, so let's be realistic, right? It's not going to look perfect like this. Right. But this is still a channel. Notice how it's uniform, right? It's not going to look perfect like that, but I need to get understand the concept, right? Whenever price comes to the top of the channel or somewhere near to the top and I see the doji, right? And I'm confirming this is a lower high, if it broke resistance, so on, so on, right? So let's take this one, right? All right. All right. Let's go again, LJ. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right. So let's take this one. I say this. That's why trading takes a lot of patience, right? So bam, this is the come to the top, it came to the middle. So you want to be a little patient. Bam, this one came to the top right here, right? When it came to the top, you see the same thing, right? Look at it now. 
look at the, the wicks is what respecting the city doji city dojis right so whenever it comes to the top of the channel right i'm looking for doji right i'm looking for it also respecting a minor support as resistance right see it's respecting this, this zone right here right this zone right here all right so the same zone right here right so it's respecting it see the wicks i got my doji at the top of the channel right and then bam there goes my cell so i'm looking for it at the top of the channel all right price move that channel so whenever it goes to the top I'm looking to sell whenever price is at the bottom of the channel i'm looking to buy does that make sense yes it does yeah i know you never seen it seen that this is how the market moves right nope never had to look at it before all right so for the channel so come here bam. so you're gonna learn to draw your channel so as i said this week oh um assignment is going to be very difficult right so watch me then. come now to, to the right side the buying side right so it's not always perfect right it's not always perfect so let's take this side right here it's not always perfect so you had to look at consolidation right here. So let's let me show what I'm talking about. Price also consolidate in a sideways fashion as well. So you could draw a channel like this, right? Bam. I'm not saying that you should trade consolidation, right? But for me, sometimes I trade consolidation, right? But not all the time, right? So let's look at it right here. See this consolidated other side? I'm saying what, I, what I'm going to do is that if I see a consolidation, right, all I'm doing is this. When the price reaches the top, I'm selling. When the price reaches the bottom, I'm buying, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, until it decides to go out. Right here, broke through, right? Same thing, broke through this resistance, respect this as support, right? Let's wide, it, wide, wide open this and see what's up now. And let's look at the weak rejection. See the same thing over and over and over and over. So I'm saying, LJ, see the same thing over and over. Look at this long weak rejection in a doji. Yeah. Doji in it, right? Say, come here, shift retest, go to high and low, but I'm respecting long weak doji to know it's time for it to go, okay. continue to go up. Mm -hmm. Realize you've seen the same thing over and over and over yeah. all price works. A consistent pattern. Exactly. That's the MO of the market. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying to you this. So let me bring back this in, right? I'm saying to you this. So now that I know that I'm going to start my upward trend, right? All I'm going to do for for the for an uptrend, unlike the, the downtrend, you put, you put it at the top to, to join, right? For a downward uptrend, uh, let me correct myself. I'm getting a little tongue twisted. For downward trend, right? You, you put it at the top, then swing it down, right? For upward trend, you put it at the bottom, then swing it up, right? Okay. So, bam, put it at the bottom, bam, swing it up. Okay. Right? It's a channel. The price is moving it. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. So, the channel, the price is moving it, right? right? So, that's all. Let's look at channel that price is moving. All right. So let's let me show you what I'm talking about, right? As I say it's not perfect. Sometimes it comes to the bottom, sometimes it don't, right? But let's take here where it comes to the bottom, right? Uh, I don't know what's wrong with my mouse today. I'm not getting anything from my mouse. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. All right, so let me know what it's like, right? When you came to the bottom of the channel, right, LJ? Mm -hmm. What do you see happening here? A doji, right? Yes. All right. 
told you in this argument. Uh, of course, right? So for me, I do a lot of patience with this, right? What for, for the channel? Take a lot of patience, right? You don't most have to use a channel, right? If if you, you could just take like the, the, the whole um just respect the mind, resistance, the support, it's just whatever works for you. What I like is channel, right? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, well, whatever works for the teacher, and that's what we're gonna <laughs> do. <laughs> Uh, I like to, like to use a channel, but I'm saying it, it's not something perfect. But whenever price it we're supposed to hit in the channel, then probably eight out of ten, ten times it should really go good. Right? right. So I just like to wait on the perfect setup. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. So I don't try to force setup. So I try to wait on the perfect setup. All right. Mm-hmm. Take a look here. Right. Take a look here. It's the resistance one. Right. That's what. Right. Mm-hmm. Let me draw this line and show you. Price came back. Above right, if you look left. If you look left, must have been respecting something, right? Must have been respecting something. Does that make sense? Are you getting it now? Yes. Yeah. Always the same ammo. Mm. Is it clear? Yes, yes. Much, much clearer now. Like so easy, man. So easy. All right. So anything that you're not getting, right? You just let me know, all right? Yeah, for sure. All right. So that's for the option. That's our channels, man. Let me see if I if I'm leaving out anything, right? All right. So you could also set alarms on the channel. You could also set alarms on the channel to to let you know when price. It's touching the bottom of the channel or the top of the channel, right? And that way you get a notification. So everyone that's here, all newbies, right? You should ensure that you download the trading view app on your phone and sign into it to your account. So let me show you set an alarm. So you right click on the channel, right? Right click on the channel. Select add alert to parallel channel, right? You want to say so if price is inside the channel, right? If price is inside the channel, right? You want to set it for it to know when it's exiting the channel, right? Well, I'm going to create, right? If price is outside of the channel and you're looking at looking at it to go back in, right? You can look at entering the channel, right? Okay. But mostly if I'm looking for something to come to the bottom of the channel and to get that I will set it for exiting the channel. Right, so that way, whenever so if price was here, right? If price was here, right? Whenever price is here to make that doji, then I'll be notified, right? That way, I don't have to sit and watch the charts all day. And that's important to know because I was like, Wow, sit and watch to see what's gonna happen. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. We're gonna get to that in the next class. So, come the next, next class on Thursday. You're gonna realize that me and my team, we never ever sit and watch the charts all day. Right. That's for rookies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We don't do that. We deal with it to the strategic approach. We don't do that. We let technology um, um, assist us with that. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So let me see if I'm I'm up with everything. I think that's about it. All right. So. So let me start with you being that you're on, you're on the floor, LJ. Any questions thus far? Are you understanding everything? Yeah, so far, so good, Dre. I, I, I just have to sit and go over this particular video when, when it's posted. Okay. And um, among some other videos that I'm falling behind and just make sure everything is kind of coming to as one. All right. But so far, so good. No question yet. Uh, the questions may come after I go through that. If you have any questions, you can always message them in the newest channel. Or um, as I say, you can also message the questions in the yard talk where an advanced member will be there to assist them. All right. Okay. Or an executive member, right? Remember, so a lot of people always I know that I'm the teacher, right? A lot of people are still to target me. You know, what the, the academy is a community. It's, it's like a family. Right. It's not me alone, right? Mm-hmm. So um 
Um, and people just as capable as you, so exactly because I taught them, right? So yes, I do this, but I also do a nine to five as well, right? So mm -hmm. like basically majority of time during the day, right? Mm -hmm. So you just have to understand that it's not me alone messaging any anybody on a message in a yard talk, somebody be there to assist, right? Okay. All right, all right, we don't feel comfortable messaging the your talk. Your talk is, is like a it's like a cafeteria thing where you know, like when you go into school, each person, like when you're in movies, not each person have their own specific class, form mm -hmm. class, right? But mm -hmm. when it comes to the cafeteria, all levels of classes are right. Mixed, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what the your talk is for, right? So you could message someone something in there, an advanced member would be with there to assist you, right? I think the only reason why you know persons may not readily jump into the community like that is if they feel the question might not be one that you know somebody would expect and there's no there's and no, they're wondering there's, no, there's gonna be any judgmental taking place. No, there's there's no such thing as a dumb question or a bad question because everyone had to start somewhere. I had to start right. somewhere. Exactly. No one is born big, right? So exactly. And, um, everybody had to start somewhere, right? For sure. All right, so let me check on uh, Richard. Are you there with me? Yeah, I'm here, Andre, but um, I'm like at? LJ. I, I have to read over um, everything to try and get it. All right, all right. So mm -hmm. try to, to get it, and I just say, if you don't have any questions, right? Um, Ernie, are you there with me? Stuart, are you there with me? I'm here, Andre, just driving in. So I didn't see what you were saying earlier, but I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was listening. All right, it seems like you have to watch over. We're, we're at the end now. Yeah, man, that's good. That's fine. I heard when you said this is it, so. All right, all right, all right. Um, yeah. All right, so let me just run through the assignment, right? All right, so as I said that, this is the most difficult assignment yet, right? So you have to understand that each time we go through the course, it's going to get harder and harder, right? And teaching you guys to be professional traders, right? So watch me now. Assignment number three, right? Assignment number three. Choose a pair of your choice on the H4 chart. Draw the key resistance and key support. Then the minor resistance and support, right? Let me put. Let me put this in, in apostrophe, minor supports. Minor resistance, right? Right, first thing you're gonna do. Then part A, within the whole of that now, you're gonna draw your ascending channel using the parallel channel, right? Then using the brush tool, you're gonna to highlight where price has broke a resistance and retest it without respecting with a pre. Hold on, let me go again. Mm -hmm. So then you're gonna use in the brush tool, right? I like to press as broker resistance and retest it with a higher low, respecting it as previous resistance as support. Also indicate where the doji, right, is at the end. Right? So what is the brush tool, right? Brush tool is what you see me using in the class all the time, right? So this is brush tool, right? See right here. So it's after one, one, two, three, four, the fourth one on, on the left, see the brush at the top, see that brush? This is the brush tool, right? So let me demonstrate the homework, right? So for the part, part A, right? All I'm saying is this, LJ, watch me now, all right? All I'm saying is this, all I want you to do is to show me that it shifted, broke through there and respected here, right? This is the doji right here. So that's what he's showing me, right? I right, see so indicating to me that here what price broke here, right? So what you could also do instead of using a text, right? 
I don't show you if we use a call out tool, right? Where's my call out tool? Uh -huh. Where is the call out? Oh, here. This right here that says call out earlier. Are you seeing it? Yes, yes, I am. All right, select call out. It's like say one, two, three, four, five, right? And in the text here, select call out. Bam. All right. And you say, all right, doji, right? Okay. Doji, right. Use it. You can use your call out tools, right? Mm -hmm. Need it up, right? Doji. Right. You could also say to me with a call out, say, here, what? price broke through resistance, right? Talk to me. I want you to talk, speak on the chart. I want you to communicate, right? All right. Price broke. You want to speak to me, right? Price broke through resistance, right? Price broke, broke resistance, right? Right. All right. Talk to me, right? Telling me that it retested respect, and that's the doji. Retest respect. This homework is critical, but right? totally critical. I know it's kind of it's kind of rough, right? The fact that this homework is so rough, I'm gonna be a little bit leaning, right? Let us put the deadline to all right. Normally Wednesday, Thursday, all right. When is Thursday? 11. Thursday, 11th of March. Right. At right, 12 midday Eastern time, all right? So in terms of deadline, this, this is remember that this deadline is inclusive of resubmission. So I'm saying you need to get at this right from probably this evening going into tomorrow, because it's a high probability that they're gonna be resubmission. Does that make sense, Audrey? Yes, sir. <laughs> right. So we gotta I gotta get to it, right? So getting this right. So it's the same thing now on the flip side now for the former, right? You're gonna draw, right? Uh, hold on. So you're ascending. No, this should be the same one. That's all the S on the center. Oh. <laughs> the other way around. No, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired, bro. Yeah, don't worry, we're not. It's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Draw you the same channel using the fire using the fire new channel, then use a brush tool to highlight where price has broke. That supports. Oh god, I didn't realize that I did this. So you want to see where price has broke a support. Yeah, because supposed to be the flip side. Support retest it with a lower high. So I respect it in the previous supports as resistance. All right, also indicates we are doji at the floor. Okay, that's it, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like the opposite of. So this is for the uptrend, this is for the downtrend, right? It's all more clear. Yep, it's clear until I start to try. <laughs> all right, Richard, it's all more clear, even though you're not under. Yeah, um, yes, it is. All right, all right. All right, so this is where we're ending. All right, so we started 4.30 in the 6th, the hour and a half, not too bad, not too bad. I mean, I try my best to keep class as short as possible. I know it might be lengthy sometimes, but as I said, I like to give my all whenever I'm teaching to ensure that people get value for money. All right? Yeah, man, I appreciate that. Most step, most step. All right, so any questions before I go? 
No, I mean, as I start to look at the homework and review, how soon do you post the... This um, as it takes, it, it takes a, 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 a bit of a time to render and okay. out and upload. It's normally, I always tell people it's normally between 24 to 48 hours, but as of recent, recently, I'm getting it done with probably about six to eight hours. So I'll say probably about midnight, two, 2 a.m., worst case scenario, 6 a.m. Yeah, man, that's, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. Yeah, but it takes, because, because the classes are, are bulky, it takes some time to render, cut, and edit, and all of that. Because I can't just pick up raw like this because the, the feedback, you know, it's going to be off. Right. <laughs> it's going to be here. Yeah. I mean, as um, I, I know I'll get the alert once it's loaded, so I'll take a look at it, and hopefully within uh, by end of the day tomorrow, you're supposed to be able to try the homework. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, questions from anyone else? Advanced member, newbies, anyone? Before I go, Andre, mm -hmm. are you gonna post the um the notes? Um, yeah. No. Yes, I always do. I'm gonna post it. Yeah. All right. And the, the notes are posted at the end of each class. You can also okay. pull up and see the previous notes as well. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So, All right. Uh, so I have no more questions. So for so that's it. Mm -hmm. Um, for those who are advanced, Marlon, are you, are, can you hear me, Marlon? Marlon, are you with me? Yeah, I'm here, Dre. What's up? Uh, uh, for all my advanced, I have a lot of advanced people on the, on, 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 the, on the class right now. Give me five minutes after I end this class. So my advanced people, please don't leave, right? So thank you for the newbies. Thank you for being here, right? You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're here with me. i see you guys on Thursday for one of my favorites to shot on the mic. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Yeah, man. Respect maximum. Take care. All the best.